Today, we're going to paint a peace dove. I went on the internet and found a graphic to use as a model, and here it is. And from this, I made a template, and here it is. Let's get started. Take your spray bottle, spray your pans of paint, put some water on your pellet, You will want to put your template about the middle of the page like this. Take your liner brush, wet your brush, and more, load your brush with intense blue. And trace around your template. Now sometimes when I trace, I maybe miss a little spot, but don't worry about it. You can go back and do it, or if you feel comfortable that you don't need to, just continue on. Remember to relax your grip on your brush and have fun. Let's wet our brush and take some of the paint that's already on the paper and spread it. Miss spot there, but that's all right. I'm just gonna take some of the color there and fill it in. Bring this up, come down here, go along here, and then you want to bring this wing so it extends a little bit like that. Come over here, start fading that line. If your brush gets dry, dip it in your water to wet it. Let's bring more of that color. This back wing is going to be a little darker than this wing here. Spring, come down here and fade the line here. All the way up here. Carry this through like that. Wet this over here. Okay. There's the start of the dove. Now let's add a little crimson. I like adding a little clump. I like to add a little complexity to this color by just adding a little more of a different color, a little bit of the crimson. I don't want this to be a bright purple, but a little shade of purple in it. So just a slight. Now remember, crimson is a strong color, so you don't need much. I'm just gonna put it off to the side there, just a little bit like that, and then soften it. And then let's go back here that's a little too purple. I want to add a little more of my blue there. That's a little better. Let's go up here and make a division of the wing. Like there's individual feathers. Bring that down. Come around here. I need a little more paint here. want this to be a bluish purple. Let's come here. Bring some down. A little more up here. Just making a little division of the fluttering wings of the dove. Up here. Let's bring some down here. And 
over here like that. I want to fade that a little bit. It has a little bit more purple. I want to put some more blue on my palette here and mix some right on my paper like that. Bring it down and up here and around. I'm dipping my brush in my water because I want to make it more a softer. That will make the paint more translucent, clear looking. Let's cover up some over here, some on the breast there, come down. Let's make a little more definition here. I just, my wet brush is wet and I'm just using that water to spread that paint more. Okay, I see that I have a little bit too much color on here and I'm gonna dab it. I wanted a little more white. So go ahead and you can clean your brush I'm going to put some water on here and dab some of that color out so it's more white. And you can just wet the paper to draw out that color that you don't want. Come down here and soften some of the color here. So this blue is a little bright and I'm going to add a little bit of the crimson and blue mixture I have here and dilute that so it's not so bright. Come down along here and then, and then again you can dab it if you want to soften it. And I did. So again here I'm just wetting the paint and lifting some of that paint off. And you might have to do it several times to get the desired that you want. Let's do some down here. Some down here. A little more down here with this whole area here. Some here. And you can see it's slowly changing. Have patience with yourself. Enjoy the process of the things you learn when you're doing watercolors. I want to make that a little even more faded. A little more here. And it might take you, you know, five minutes of doing it. But be patient and loving towards yourself. 
You're in progress here. That's looking better. It's amazing, just little touches that you can do to your watercolor, how it can change it. That's looking better all the time. Let's do a little here. And a tiny bit here. Like that. Now this wing right here, we need to add some separation of the wings fluttering. But we don't want to make it too dark. So I'm going to use more of the blue and less of the crimson. I want it to be more on the blue spectrum. Just faintly. What I like about watercolor is you can just get these very delicate, soft touches. And then give it a good dab. And if sometimes it doesn't come off completely, you can So I see right here, it's a little dark than I don't want. So again, I'm just adding water to my brush and drying it a little bit and then using my brush to pick up just like that. So I'm just taking my liner brush and adding some white here. I'm just going to go along the head here. That will soften, soften the line. Let's come down along here. Okay, I'm going to clean my palette here. and put some white on my palette. And just add a touch of blue. I don't want too much. A little blue goes a long way. In fact, that's too much. So I'm gonna grab some more of my white here. That's better. Wet my brush a little bit and put some of that white up here. Don't like so much of that purple showing through. So add some more white to my palette there. Bring that down. Right down here. More white on my palette. Just, I already have some blue there. I'm going to grab that. Bring some down here. Bring that down here. Let's put some more white on my palette. Touch of the blue. Let's put some a little bit over here. And I, I'm going to this other wing to let it dry just a little bit. 
Sometimes when you do watercolor and you keep adding wet on wet, it doesn't get better. In fact, I think we'll sit and give it a good dry here. Go down here, work on that, adding some more white. Let's add some more to the tip here. A little more here. Some down below here. Some over here. On the breast. Load your brush as needed. Some up here. Let's go back to here and add some. Go up here. And always take time to stop and look. Let's put some more down on this bottom here, right by the blue. Like that, in between those spots. Put a little bit here. Wet your brush. Grab some more white. Let's go along the purple here and make it more white. Here, that's looking better. Some down here. No more over here. That's looking pretty good. Let's move that down a little bit here. Load your brushes needed and go up a little more here. A little drop here, come back down here, fade this line. 
like that. Watercolor melt and mix. And we'll soften that line a little bit there. Like that. Come up this way. Right here, like that. Let's put a little more up on this wing. Let the paint kind of meld and mix. do its magic like that. So now let's go ahead and paint the eye. And the eye is just going to be dark, a dark dot. So to create that, let's use our burnt umber and a little bit of blue, and we can use the intense blue here, just a tad. Don't need much. And you can test it on your tail. If you get too much, it might look a little bit green, and we don't want that. So just put a dot about right there the eye. You don't need much. So just take your time, relax, breathe. Now for the beak, it's a that bright yellow and we're going to use cadmium yellow right here. So let's use this bright yellow and make the beak, just a little beak there, like that. Now we want that to dry, so go ahead and use your dryer to dry it. The bird is holding an olive branch. So let's make the branch part by using our burnt umber. And you want it to be mostly paint and not so much water. You want it to be more of that solid brown color. So just start here. And that ran a little bit on me. I'm just going to dab it. And I messed it a little bit, but it's easy to fix. And that's a wonder thing, wonderful thing about watercolor. It's going a little bit running. I'm going to give it another good dry here. And you know, if you make a mistake, don't, don't get so down on yourself because even the professionals make mistake. Okay, 
So the brown ran just a little bit. And I'm going to just lift some of that brown out with my brush. I also see that I splattered some brown paint on my paper here. And I'm just going to wet that area and lift it out. And you can just take your ta paper towel, dab it, and just, you want to dab. And the reason a lot of times you want to dab things is because if you push hard on it and you smear it, you just smear the color more around the surface versus it just picks it right up like that. And there you go. Okay, to continue on with our branch, it's coming there and then up like that. Need to load it with more paint here. And there's going to be some leaves. So let's add those like that. Now let's stop and give it a good dry. I don't want the brown to run into the to the green that we will be adding. So let's give it a good dry so the paint will be set. Okay, I want to make this line a little thinner. So I'm going to carefully add some water to my brush. Lift some of that brown out a little bit. Just a smudge. Just a tad bit. Like that. Mine turned out a little bit thick. There. That's much better. Now to make the leaf, let's use some of our cadmium yellow, just a touch and put it on our palette like that and use our sap green. Want it to be a nice springy green. So to do that, we're using our sap green and our cadmium yellow. to create the leaves. That's looking pretty good. I like that nice springy color. Now I see some of the leaves are a little bit more yellow and that is an easy fix. Some more sap green on my palette and I just... Sometimes when you add another color, you don't need to add much and it can really change a lot. So, you know, go ahead and experiment and try some of the color on your paper towel. You can also use a scrap of watercolor paper too. So I want to make these show up a little bit more. Show a little bit more of that green. That's looking pretty good. You show up a little more here. I like that. And Take a moment, look at your painting. And I'm doing that and it's time for me to stop. I really enjoyed painting with you today. I hope you did too. I'm wishing you all the love and peace in the world today.